Hello YouTube, Welsh Gamer here, the Welsh Gamer is speaking. Now I have some very, very interesting news to bring to you. Um, it makes me very excited to say the least. Um, before I proceed though, while I am very excited to bring this to you, you must understand that what I'm about to show you and, and, and read out to you is only a leak. Um, you know, you've got to take these things with a pinch of salt. Um, but the guy who leaked this information um, has quite a bit of credibility in the past with previous things he's hinted at and uh, leaked that have actually come to fruition. So that is why I just wanted to throw out there that it is a leak. So it's not confirmed by the people at Microsoft and Xbox like Phil Spencer. So with any of this that I come to, to bring to your attention now, while it may be very credible and I for one am getting excited, uh, you know, speaking for myself personally, at the same time, just bear that in mind. But here we have basically a man who has been able to access some of the database, the API SDK, um, that well, the API for, for projects inside of Microsoft, uh, like uh, early build of games, code names, all that kind of thing. And he has had access to this database, allegedly. And, uh, and he's able, and he's basically shed some light without actually saying outright, there's a new Fable game coming out or a new blah, blah, blah coming out. He's somewhat hinted at these games in their develop early stages of development or, or whatever stage of development they're in. And he's also leaked a few code names which could point towards certain things. But let's just get into it. Because I, for one, am very excited. There's a few games on this list that he's hinted at. But obviously the main one for me that I cannot wait to hopefully hear a secure announcement for is Fable. But I've already said in the past that I have no doubt that this is the year we'll see Fable 4. But anyway, let's get into the article. Xbox Live APA, API SDK leak provides outlook on upcoming Xbox One exclusive games. The article reads, Xbox fans have been eager to learn about Microsoft upcoming state slate of first party titles. Head of Xbox Phil Spencer st stated multiple times in the company would increase investment in this area, though it was too early to announce any games just yet. Just to touch on this, Phil Spencer did obviously come out and say, like, in a nutshell, the, the, the amount of effort and time they put into getting the Xbox One X out there that level of effort is going to be put into their first party titles now so that's where this article starts on that note so it's a nice entry to a pretty decent article i think to continue with the year though with the new year though an xbox live api sdk leak might have given fans an early outlook on what's next like uh, other, after the likes of ori will of the wisp sea of thieves state of decay 2 crackdown 3 reset era user clobril revealed that he ha, he still has access to the internal system where project entries are stored so like i said guys this guy um it says it further on in the article but he he has had access to this database for however long i don't know how he has it he must have either an insider or it's part of his job i don't know i really don't know much about this clobril character but he has had this information and he has given he has leaked certain things in the past that have allegedly come that have apparently like come to fruition so take that which you will but these are the quotes of the gentleman himself. It, it goes, oh wow, was awake the whole night for this, lol. I see access to some login entry database tablets via the Xbox Live API SDK. Is it possible? That's insane. See if Thieves and Crackdown 3 Arena betas have, have a lot of entries. Suggest that these are coming soon. There's so much more, but I don't want to risk myself. Then the article reads, initially he didn't seem inclined to share the Xbox Live API information publicly. He ultimately decided to do it through under the guise of a wish list. So basically what I'm going to read to you guys is basically this guy... At least for me, reading it, I believe he has right in front of him with this, S, you know, SDK API thing, this database of sorts. He, I reckon, he has in front of him in black and white games that are in the works. But because he doesn't want to get sued or anything for being the one to leak it officially, he's done this in such a clever way. I think, uh, like in some kind of like wish list, like things that he wants. So here we go. It starts with, I'd love to revisit Albion. 
project name could be Wisdom. A UK studio should do it. So he's basically hinting at a Fable game uh, that's project name is Wisdom. Like, for me, it's like, how would you even come to that conclusion? Why would you randomly go, oh, they should do a project name Wisdom? For me, again, take it with a pinch of salt, but for me, when I read that, I think the guy has seen in black and white that there is a Fable game project under the code name Wisdom, and he's just playing it as if he's, like, wishing for it kind of thing, just so he can get the leak out there but in a very backwards way. To continue, it says, I'd love to play around with Miss Dark again. The Coalition should definitely help this. It's a third-person third game. I mean, not them alone, obviously. Um, so that's another hint at Perfect Dark Zero. Um, you know, we already know the Coalition are working on new games, so, like, this actually sounds quite valid. To continue, it says, I'd also love to play Crackdown 3 campaign and four-player co-op. We, although we already know that Crackdown 3 is four-player co-op, but yeah, that, that, that's obviously, you know, another hint. Continue, I would love to be playing Forza with the rising sun on the horizon. A lot of people have been hinting at a Japanese um, uh, Forza Horizon. It's already kind of been in the work, uh, you know, already in the, around the net, people talking about it. So it comes to no surprise that that's something that they're probably doing and he's already hinting at that. So that looks very credible. Um, to continue, I'd love to play Age of Empire 4 soon, but it's probably super early. Uh, I would love to have a really high player count connection per session for Xbox's biggest franchise. We all know what Xbox's biggest franchise is. It is indeed Halo. So this could be hinting at the new Halo, Halo 6, uh, and uh, the, the sheer depth and size of this game. I've already said in the past that I think that Halo 6 is going to be more open world uh, like, like the, in terms of the single player. And then when it comes to the multiplayer, I mean, we're playing games like PUBG and Fortnite Battle Royale where you've got 100 people on one server going at it, one, you know, all against all. There is really no stopping uh, Halo doing, a, a, like, like breaking the mold when we look at big team battle and stuff like that. And assuming that he's actually read that they're doing something like this, this is a very clever way of leaking it without actually full on saying it. So that gets me excited for Halo as well. Um, right, it goes, I think Phil Spencer likes mechs. So that is a huge hint at the Mech Assault series from the original Xbox days. And, uh, you know, everyone's been eager for a new Mech Assault game. People have been asking Phil for a long time, for a few years now. So that's looking very promising. I doubt, I doubt I get anything for Conquer Banjo or Crimson Skies for the, in the foreseeable future. Uh, make make out of that what you want. I don't know what it is. It's just a prototype, etc. So he's basically disclaiming his own words, even though he's more or less leaked it. But guys, like I said, before I skim through the rest of the article, take all of this with a pinch of salt. Nobody can tell you for an absolute fact that the, this is fact. It, you know, even if that guy has indeed seen these things, like 100% confirmed, are in the works. He, you know. He, he did the right thing by not leaking it and exposing it completely because he probably could have got himself into a bit of trouble. But the way he's done it is very clever. So it's entirely up to you how you take it. For me, out of all of this, my big, the, the thing I'm most looking forward to is Fable. I'm, I, I think Xbox needs another Fable game. That's not to say it's a lot of the Xbox is doomed without a Fable game, but for me, Fable was one of the best franchises ever. And when you've got 343 taking over Halo, the Coalition taking over Gears, although here it says they're working on something else as well, which is nice. People are always criticizing Microsoft, saying that they should branch out, try let their studios do different things. So, you know, it's nice to hear whether it be a, a rumor, a fake or true. It is still nice to hear that these sort of things could potentially be going on. But with Fable, like there's really like like or like down here on this article, it says. From what we can glean, a Fable-related project codenamed Wisdom should be in development at Studio Gobo's Brighton-based Electric Square Studio, which has been confirmed to be working on something for Microsoft. That much I did not, didn't know until I read this article a moment ago, so that is very uh, interesting. Uh, so they are, they are working on, a, well, potentially working on a Fable game codenamed Wisdom, and uh, it, they reckon it should be developed by Studio Gobo in Brighton. Uh, so... Um, an English UK based studio working on a fable game which was previously run by and developed by an English UK based studio so 
that's very interesting. The rest of the article kind of dissects each um, each of the hints, like the set, uh, the hints at Perfect Dark, Crackdown, uh, Age of Empire. Um, but it also ends the article by saying, by the way, this isn't the first time Krillobeel, or whatever his bloody name is, has managed to pull information out of the Xbox Live API SDK. He did the same thing ahead of E3 2016, and basically everything he said turned out to be correct, which lends credibility to this leak as well, though it should be strictly filed under a rumour label. Uh, also, there's no telling one of these projects could be cancelled or repurposed before they've even officially been announced. So basically, guys, like I've said to you at the beginning of this video, it is just a leak. It is just this one man's, like, you know, his word against everyone else's. But he has got, you know, has a little bit of credibility to him because... It ha he has leaked stuff in the past that turned out to be true. So again, like I said... Like the article said, it is somewhat a rumour, it is just a leak, it's not like Phil Spencer's come out and said it himself, so take with it what you will, but for me, I'm just very excited. Um, all, of those, all of those leaks and stuff that he came out with were very interesting things, but for me, the biggest one had to be Fable. There's so much they could do with that IP, guys, like with, with, with the power of the Xbox One X and with games nowadays, the size and the scope, like The Witcher 3, I've been playing Shadow of War, that's phenomenal. Once I finish Shadow of War, I'm going to be playing Assassin's Creed Origins. Like, these open world games, guys, are getting better and better and more immersive. And just imagine what they could do with a fable. Only the, the imagination, like, the, the, like my, my brain runs wild with, thought, with, with wondering what they're going to do with that game if they are indeed working on it. That's all I got for you guys. That is the Welsh Gamer, home of the Dragon X podcast, and my buddy Zerox X and Microbox of X. And remember to hit that bell down below to stay up to date whenever I make a video. Take it easy, guys. That's the Welsh Gamer. The Welsh Gamer has spoken.